Gentlemen, today I achieved a significant milestone. I killed my 10,000th rat. Mrs. Dumpy's Weimariner gets co-credit, but I got my mallet in there. Oh, man, wow. like a dang old exclusive club, man. Well, congratulations, Dale. That's exciting news. Look who's telling me about exciting. The man who stood behind Waylon Jennings on an escalator. Well, I was five people back. Hey, Gribble, the trophy shop said this was the biggest plaque they had. Thank you, Octavio. Yeah, he was supposed to be mid-roar. Uh, so, Bill, what have you been up to? I, uh, I gave my 10,000th army haircut. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting a plaque. Wait a second. I feel like I saw that in a movie or something. You disguise certain facts, I say, but the story is Gribble's intellectual property. Bill, tell us something that's happened to you. Well, recently I stole Dale's story and tried to pass it off as mine. <laughs> I'm a boring man and I have no life. <laughs> so, Boomhauer, what's new with you? Did you guys hear what happened last night? Someone broke into the art room and ate all the macaroni projects. I heard some janitors talking about weird stuff going on here at night. Showers turning on by themselves. Mysterious toilet cloggings. Sounds like prom queen Mary is back. Who's prom queen Mary? The ghost of a former Tom Landry prom queen. She was decapitated when a basketball hoop collapsed under the weight of too much crepe paper. Every prom season, she comes back. She still wants to dance. The headless prom queen is back! What else could it be? Move along, kids. You want to have a conversation, do it in the back of class. Principal Boss, have you heard anything about Tom Landry being haunted by a headless prom queen? No, he had a couple kids choke on erasers, but no hauntings. I'd probably remember something like that. Joseph, tomorrow night, we are getting video proof of prom queen Mary. Before Debbie gets here, I didn't exactly tell her you were my roommate. I said you were my gay butler. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> here comes trouble. Dude, she's not going to buy it. When I slept with Debbie last night, I told her I was a race car driver. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Those roommates, aren't they funny? That's it. I was watching TV last night, and I figured out what was missing from my life. Everything except the TV? A roommate! It will transform my life from gritty drama to bright new comedy. Hey, hey, no. That's whoa, whoa, madness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, hold on there, Bill. Why don't you start small and work your way up to a roommate? What about that fighting fish you've had your eye on? <laughs> 